What's up, Paddle Freaks? This is Dave Bainey. I'm the head designer here at Infinity SUP. You can see we're in the Infinity Custom Shop. I can't wait to break down the all new 2019 Blackfish Race Board. You're looking at the 2019 Infinity Blackfish. This is our all around planning style race board. All around meaning whatever kind of paddling you want to get into, the Blackfish can take you there. We're talking flat water, sprinting, get up and go, upwind, downwind, side chop, in and out of surf, right in a wave, Blackfish does it all. The nose still has that famous Blackfish bulbous style high volume nose and we've just touched up on it a little bit. What we did was we moved the volume a little bit closer to the rider, adding that recovery volume which we like to reference it as. It just helped it be a little more stable going in and out of surf and up chop. You can see right away that the peak of this board is quite aggressive. This does a few things. The obvious reason is to shed water when it comes up on the deck. Another one is it keeps it really sharp when punching through waves. It really just kind of karate chops it and parts it away. So it keeps that momentum going when you're grinding really hard. And it also helps it recover if it dips under a wave a lot. It parts the water on the way up. And so this is just a really efficient choppy water nose. As you come back towards the standing area, we still have the handle options here, lifeguard inspired. These are for running on the beach around a flag if you're doing a Aussie style race. Um, they're also a really good grab for when you fall off the board. It allows you to grab it and pull it through the wave or hold onto it through a wave rather than bear hugging and trying to you know hold it while the wave's going like this. So they're actually, they're really handy to have those handles. You're always gonna have an air vent and an FCS plug for GoPro, water bottle, GPS device. So that's fun. Come back, we still have our really rugged, tried and true Speed Freaks padded neoprene handle. We did add beat start handle options on either side of the rails. Another feature of the Blackfish we really like is the traction pad. There's a lot of design that went into this pad. It's a closed cell, real thin, heat-pressed EVA foam, so it's waterproof, it's really light, and it's durable. We actually cut slits into the pad to take even more weight out, so it's as light as possible as so that we can make a traction pad for this board. We also stagger the grip. What I mean by that is every other section is a flat dimple, and the other ones are raised square. So this is just giving you a point of reference from your feet to your brain of where you are on the board so you don't have to look down when you're walking back and forth. Another important design feature of the Blackfish is its outline. The outline is really linear, has that parallel style outline. Parallel meaning that the wide point is longer than normal. It has a wide point in the center and that wide point this is 24 inches wide, it stays 24 inches wide longer than a standard board. And what that enables us to do is keep the outline in the nose wide and in the tail wide. And what you're gonna get with a wider nose and a wider tail is stability. Now you're looking at the bottom of the Blackfish. This has changed and been refined from last year a little bit. We're still going with our inverse V concept, but we've just added some horsepower and flat water to this design. And this design, the bottom design, really is what sets it apart from all the other boards in this category. This board, I believe, is the fastest board off the line on the planet. I don't really like to refer to it as a true planing haul. I always refer to it as a hybrid. This board, you want to raise the nose and I want to raise the tail. I want, I want to have that feeling of skipping a stone on water. I want this thing just skipping across the water. So. What I do is I promote the lift with this spoony entry, which gets the board right off the line to jump up. And after that, the water falls right into this inverse V and then starts exiting the board. But the front of this board, as you can see, is really spoony and round. 
This is really forgiving. So when there's chop and waves and all this junk, it's not pulling around on this board. It's just going, it's ebb and flowing with whatever you want it to do. So the bottom point of this V is actually, it comes to a point. It's not rounded like a concave. And I really like this bottom because it's telling the water, it's pushing the water to the center of this board. And the center of this board is the flattest part of the rocker. So we're trying to get a nice fast rocker in the center of the board and enables me to have a curvy, very forgiving all around rocker on the rails. This inverse V pushes the water to the center, which is gonna also help it track straight, kind of locks in there down the middle. And as it progresses down the middle of this board, these rails start squaring up a little bit and then the water just gets flushed down the center gets compressed out causing it to lift and this rocker on the rails just falls off the board oh, planing holes tend to jump out of the hole faster and they don't have a governor you get up to your quickest speed faster and it's going to go 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 as strong as fast as you can pass so this board has lots of get up and go the glide per stroke when you're in a nice rhythm is really nice and it's really versatile because of the soft rails and the hard edges in the back. It could do pretty much anything and it's been really cool. This is a board we've had in the line for multiple years now. It's a board we really kind of hang our hats on and it's been proven in all styles of racing from flat water to surf racing, downwind. It's won all those kind of races all over the world. It's won a world title under Candace Appleby's feet. It won the 2018 world title under Shea Foudy's feet. It's won gold medals at ISA. It's won the Pro Junior at PPG. This board really speaks for itself. I think you're really gonna love the added glide and flat water to this board. And I can't wait to share it with you all. Thank you for tuning in. See you on the water.